What's up, MFs? Welcome back to the Snake Pit. This is episode 116. Uh, I did this one with J Ban, Prolific P. He is um he's a producer and a rapper out here in Lubbock, Texas. He's um he's a younger guy, so it was it was me, him, and Jules. So it was cool to like get the perspective of younger people and that energy and that flow. I really enjoyed the conversation. We had a good time. We we um we we talked about good shit. But it was also interesting the fact that he was he's um he's gonna be at the eight oh six versus everybody festival prior to the release of the lineup. I didn't know that. So now that the lineup's out, you'll see his name. And uh if you would, you know, go check him out, check his music out, follow him on all his streaming platforms, subscribe to the YouTube please, and uh f- follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all of that. Uh, check out Jules, follow him, um, buy my merch. So hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you guys next time. J Ban. J Ban. Prolific P. What's up, man? What's up? How y'all doing? Sorry for the technical difficulties, but it's all good. We we're here. Yes, sir. On this cold Wednesday night. I love this weather though. You like it? I like the rain. It's it's nice and then it's not nice. Because like I work in it. Okay. So I'm like you know I I want it off but then I don't because I then I miss out on making money so whatever I wish it would do this on the weekend you know just chilling on the weekend but yeah I don't know about it being that cold though yeah it was a little chilly today it's gonna be weird I don't have my headphones on because they're fucked up I don't know I feel like I'm just talking I feel like I'm not in podcast mode I don't know it don't make sense but anyways <laughs> again J Ben thanks for being here brother yes sir it's an honor. <laughs> Tell me, uh, tell me about yourself, man. What's, what's, what's your story, dog? How do I start this? Um, twenty, from Lubbock. I started music in twenty eighteen. When I started writing and stuff, I went to SPC for uh, sound engineering. Oh, really? Yeah. So I did that for a year. I took a little break, and then I had dropped my first little mixtape on SoundCloud. It was cool, and then. Lately, I just did the two EPs on all streaming platforms, which is Soul Searching and Prolific P. Prolific P. That's like my alter ego. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Just to have it's like the person I spaz with. So, what kind of what what kind of what's your genre? What, what's your music? Just straight hip hop. Hip hop. Your and you write all of the you produce it. I mean, create them beats and everything. Uh, I the last two EPs I did it. I had bought those like from websites, but this next project gonna be fully produced by me. Fuck. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I saw your Instagram and I was like, "What? Well, you're like the little machine." Yeah. What is that? That's a NPC, a Kai NPC. I wish I knew what that was, but I'm sure people listening do. Yeah, it's a it's a sampler. So basically. You could sample different, you know what sampling is? Kind of, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's basically how I make beats. I, sampling is like my favorite thing to do. I grew up on Kanye, so <laughs> sampling is like, yeah, it's always been my dream to get that machine. So now that I got it, I've been going crazy with it. <laughs> uh, is it just like an expensive machine? Is that why it kind of took a little bit to get it? Yeah. I feel that. It's pretty expensive, but... Worth it. Worth it, for sure. Yeah. Like, whenever, like... I think about whenever I bought that, because that thing was expensive. Mm -hmm. And, like, my mom was like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Was that how you... Like, does your family understand, like, spending that much? Yeah. uh, My dad made music before me. Oh, okay. Yeah, they definitely know. My mom, she knows what I do, so... They support it. It's the best thing. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Couldn't couldn't ask for any more, right? No, nah, for sure. Fuck, that's awesome. It's a blessing. So it is. Um, is sampling is it tricky? Is that like? It can be for sure. Like I'm, t- I'm speaking like, like legally. Legally. Like, uh, okay, so like because you kind of copywriting and all that. Well, there's a uh, there's like on my free time I sample vinyl, so like that stuff I can't really put out because I don't have the licenses. I don't have the copyright to those but there's websites like tracklib or basically where i've been getting my samples lately so you uh you could download them and it'll be like 50 bucks to clear it so if you want to put it out yeah okay so that's pretty cool so how what is the what is the vinyl process what is that like how do you do that uh just have a record player i get it through the inline channel and i just like record it through there and then i chop it up 
Well, I didn't even. Yeah. That's what, where do you get your vinyls at? Where just wherever? Wherever. Any sort yeah, of anything. Any, any store. If I'm out of town, I'm looking for thrift stores. I'm looking for re- record stores, anything I can find. So, yeah, for sure. I'm a big vinyl collector. For that reason? To, like, sample it? For that reason, and I like to listen to them on okay. a long time. Like, soul, 70s souls, like, my favorite genre. Yeah, that seems like a yeah. good, like, thing to sample from. Yeah, that's best thing to me. Can you, like, when you do that on the vinyl, look when you sample vinyls, can you really sit on, like, SoundCloud? Um, I mean, yeah, because you can't make money from you can't SoundCloud. can't make money. Yeah. So, yeah, I could definitely drop beats. Like, I have a, a little beat tape on my SoundCloud that I've just beats when I first started that I had you samples. Where, where did, what made you start doing all that? Like uh, your, do- your dad? my dad Your dad did? It? Yeah, I remember, like, he had a little drum machine. Like, I was little, and I would always mess with it. And he had, like, keyboards, things like that. And then just the music I was always listening to, like... My mom, I remember her banging graduation when I was little. Like, no way. So all those, like, all those beats, like, yeah, you're you're born in two thousand. Both yeah, of you were two thousand baby for <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, so I grew up in that chipmunk soul beat era, huh. Jay Z. Yeah, so that's why I got into it. That's crazy. I didn't even think. I just thought about that. I'm the oldest guy in here, and it's never me. It's usually the the girl, but she's not here today. <laughs> so is it? Um, is that kind of like, because I've learned like, let's talk about Alpha Savage. Mm-hmm. I learned like his brain works in, if you will, in rap. Like he's like, I think that's, I want to say that's true. Like he's like always looking at things and analyzing them and so he can rap. Mm-hmm. Is that how your brain works? Like set with sound? It's like, oh man, that'd be a good thing to oh, yeah, sample. Like, yeah, like, I'd be like, if I go to the grocery store yeah. and they, I hear something, I yeah. get the little Shazam, Shazam it, so that's how I could go sample it. Like, really? Yeah. Damn, that's pretty so cool. So I have grown, I've grown an ear for things, just trying to find things to hear. I'd be like, okay, I could flip that. It was like 2018, like, was that the first time you ever, why, why, when was, why'd you say that was when you started music? Since you've been fucking with music since um, your whole life, that was the f- I had dropped my first song okay. in twenty eighteen. I've been writing probably since I was like thirteen, like just little stuff here and there, but it didn't get serious till like twenty eighteen. And that was when you were seventeen. Yeah, I was seventeen. Oh I was shit! A senior in high school. Yeah, I had dropped my first song, and then after that, I had dropped a couple few songs because I didn't have equipment. And then when I got equipment, summer twenty nineteen, I dropped my first mixtape, which is also a new era. Is it all just you? Or is any anybody else from around here? Uh, my dad's on it. Yeah. Oh shit, that's yeah. cool. That's the only feature I have on that little mixtape is my dad. That's the first. That's yeah, pretty awesome. That's cool. Like he rapped over it or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that mixtape it was just a bunch of beats that like classic beats, Dead Presidents. I rapped over. Uh, Wait by Cameron, instrumental, just like random beats I would find on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, but other than that, it's just the last EPs I did. And then lately, last four months, I've just been messing with that machine, honestly. <laughs> Did you already know how to work it before you got it? No. no. Just messing with it every day. I wake, Damn. Up, I wake up, take my medicine, use, take a shower, and then after that, listen for samples all day, just making beats. Do you have like a following online? Uh, would you say? Yeah, I think I do. I mean... Because that's how I got... Like interested in you, is you reposted people who were reposting you, mm-hmm. and there were some big accounts. So I was yeah. like, "Oh shit!" I guess yeah, I, know. I definitely got some. Yeah, I was like, "Damn!" I guess I guess accounts. you're you're really out here, man. I was like, "Oh fuck!" And obviously, like people follow you from here, and I'm like, oh, "Yeah, it's yeah. it's been weird." Like those last two EPs, I was real mad. I feel like I wasn't getting the attention I like I deserved, basically. But you know, I kind of come like. Stop looking at that side of the thing. Like, how do you say it? I just like, I like making music. So if I put it out, I mean, whether it gets 10 plays or 10,000 plays, you know, I'm good. As long as I like it, I'm good. That's how I feel about this. Yeah. I don't really care about the views. As long as, you know. You enjoy well, yourself. I take that back. Because if I didn't enjoy it, I'm still going to put it out. But I'm always going to enjoy doing this. So it's always going to be, yeah. I'm always going to do this. So sure. regardless of the numbers, I'd like the numbers to be high, but whatever. It'll get there though. It's a process. Jules, do you see that little black thing on, on the screen right there? You see that? 
Or am I just like the angle of my? Do you see that? Yeah, I see. Is it on the fucking camera or is it? I think it's on the lens. Oh, okay. Well, then that's just the way it's gonna be. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna fuck with it. Can you can you like go on there and like see if it's on the? Take it off the lens. I just noticed that shit. My bad. <clears throat> I've been all fucking all over the place trying to fuck with this shit right now. Then you got your headphones. Mm -mm. I don't know what that's about. It's gonna make me mad. Like, just like like put your yeah, see if it's that. Is it not that? You're good, man. I, was... I see like you a sure? black. I see like a black little line. I don't know what it is. You straight? It's just a shadow of the yeah. curtains. Oh, it might be this little fucking thing. Yeah. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Boy, what the fuck is that? It's like a very distinct line on the yeah. screen. Oh, yeah, that's the curtain. Okay. Line. I thought it was like something on the... My bad, guys. My oh, brain's all over the... Good. My brain's all over the place. But... So it's all about the music for you, huh? Yeah, all about the music for sure. Oh, man, that's cool. What what, you, what else do you... Is that all you do? Like... Uh, just just like focus... on my free time? Yeah. No, I hoop a lot. I like to hoop. I saw you with so, the, the ones I'm on. I'm not at the gym. I'm making yeah. beats, rapping, <laughs> writing. Yeah. Is that sort of like your your um your mental break, would you say? Like going to the gym? Yeah. <laughs> like when I can't make beats, I'm like, fuck it, I'll go hoop and then I come back. No. I ain't mess with the music, have a fresh a refresher. So yeah, it's good just to get away. I feel that man. Because I feel like I do this every day and I'm like, man, I need to take breaks sometimes because it it's a killer to try to just fucking yeah work on something all the fucking but, time. Yeah, it's good to take breaks though. Yeah, for sure. I feel bad for taking breaks. Not gonna lie, sometimes I'm like man, I shouldn't be taking a break right now, but whatever. It's just the way it is, I guess. See, my mind's all over the place because I got I just try to drink an empty beer, but I just need to relax, <laughs> take it in, enjoy. You're here again. Yes, thank sir. you, sir. You have um. You have merch. You do that too, huh? Where do you make? Where do you get your merch made? Uh, I did it off a website called Rush Order. So like, that was like the most legitimate one I could find. Like I was real nervous because I was ordering a bunch. So I was looking around. I should have looked like locally, but I was just at the house, and I had uh, made designs on the website. So I wanted those exact ones. But yeah, and it I turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I pretty much sold out of the ones I do have. But yeah, so it's cool to it's crazy that people be buying merch and like chips me out. That's what I'm saying. It's weird. It's definitely a weird feeling. I yeah, think. like I'm not I'm not used to the whole artist like people view me as J Ben. That makes sense. That's your artist name though. Yeah. Okay. J Ben, and which is just my la first and last name is or uh, my initials and then. My last name is Banda, so just cut it off. There you go. Yeah, I saw, like, again, another thing I saw is, like, you do, like, deliveries and all that. Yeah. So I thought that was, you know, shout out to Brennan Cole. He does yeah. that. Do you know who that is? Yeah, me and Brennan Cole have been talking the last couple months, so he puts me on a lot of game for sure. Hell yeah. So I was like, oh, it's, he, he's doing what Brennan does. Yeah, uh, that's well, my boy. Maybe you were doing it first. I don't know. But, yeah, I was like, damn. Yeah. So yeah, bread and coals. That's, that's a good price. Are you gonna do you do you ever go to like their shows and all that? Uh, I can't because they're twenty one and up. The last few ones, so I haven't got to be able to go out there yet. Damn, <laughs> no, it sucks. So you've been like wanting to go and all that. You've, oh, yeah, you've seen sure. all that. Like I'm yeah, just trying yeah. to get familiar who you're familiar with. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty familiar with Brandon Cole. Do you work with any of these guys? Like lo these local mm. people. I haven't worked with him yet, but you know we've definitely like Brendan Cole. Like he pulled up to the house and I showed him beats. Like in his oh car. no way! Yeah. Like he got videos of him freestyling over the beats I showed. Him. Son of a bitch! Yeah, so yeah, I've, we're we're gonna work for sure. Yeah, that sucks. You're not you're not able to go to the shows. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sure you could go to the Culture Lounge. You ever heard of that? I haven't. It's like you know who Vare is and okay, yeah, Go yeah. Bang Gang and yeah, all I them. Know who Vare is? Yeah, they like put on a lot of shows over there. With other people too, but. And I don't think they care if you're 18 or yeah. 21. I need to pull up. So yeah. I need to pull up. I need to get myself in the scene a little bit more. That's what I was wondering. I really... I'm real to myself. 
Any sure. just cause like you know just cause I mean that's how I'm comfortable. Yeah, you know I'd rather go to the house. Just look up for samples. I mean, that's just hey, how I, res- I, am. I respect that, man. I respect that. I I feel that like I'm. I don't. I'm not like. It's not that I like to stay home, but it's like it's better for me to stay home because mm-hmm. there's trouble out there, and I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, I in a lot just... of ways, not just one specific way, but <laughs> but like when I, you know going to these shows, you just meet everybody and you you network and you. Yeah, it's a it's a very weird feeling being around that, and I'm that's your scene though. Like you yeah, know, I know. do you have you ever performed none of that? Uh, I've performed twice at both of the. Two years of the Juneteenth event on the east side. Okay. At the May Simmons and those little festivals I've done. But other than that, I haven't got to. Was this like yet. last year? I did it in 2018 and 2019. How was that? They're fun. I liked them a lot. And those are your only two performances? Yeah, only two. But... And then one of them was just like a, it was when I first started writing. So it was just a poem that I had did. And the second one, it was just one song. But it, I am performing at the 806 Festival. The 806. I was going to ask you about that. The June 5th through the 6th Festival. Uh, the lineup should be out here soon. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting on it. Damn, that black little thing is going to fuck with me. Do you see what I'm seeing? Do you, do you see the little line I'm talking about on this on this thing right here? I'm telling you. It's the I know, but it's like fucking with me. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so you're performing. Yes, sir. How did that, like, did you reach out to them? Did they reach out to I you? I reached out to Vari personally. I had sent him my music, you know, seeing if I could get a slot, and he thought I was worth to be on the lineup. I think the lineup's going to, it'll be out by the time this episode comes out. Hopefully. I think. Hopefully. I'm excited for it, man. Fuck, that'll be cool. We'll have to get, you have to get you out there. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to have a table, so we'll get your little ass out there. Let's go. I'm ready. So we'll have him out there. Damn. I got high expectations for that festival, man. I'm ready for it. It's, it looks like it's gonna be a movie, man. Um. So since I'm pretty sure this lineup will be out, I'm not gonna say who's gonna be on there, but I've seen the lineup, and it's like, oh, okay, Vari, fucker, uh, that's gonna be a good one. Do you like? And you just this latest tape you you have out? Is that what you're gonna perform, or you got um, new shit? What's going on? I'm going to, I don't know, because I'm working on a project now, but it's just, I haven't, it's like no timeline on it. It's just me working, but pretty much going to perform the last two EPs because they're only 14 songs com- like combined. Okay. So I just pick a few from each one. And do you have like a, a personal DJ that you think you're going to have or um, how does that work? I don't know. He's just gonna. Yeah. He just fuck it. Yeah. I respect that man. Damn. That'll be cool. I'm. Yeah. I'm gonna be. That'll be interesting to see. That's your. Ne- your next performance. Though. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I didn't. I was gonna ask you like because I didn't know how you. Again, I didn't know who you know and who you're fucking with. So yeah, that's gonna um, be fun. I should be should be performing. Um, there's a new spot opening up downtown called 1111. I've heard of that. Main Street. Yeah, so I just started with the production team there at Synergy Studios. So hopefully I'll be able to perform there too with Hectic. <laughs> oh, yeah. you Before um before we get into Hectic, the, um, like, like the Culture Lounge on Thursdays, they do open mics. You okay. should check that out. On Scott, Thursdays? I believe it's Thursdays from like 9 to 11. Yeah, you show I never knew that. Yeah. I, have to look at I just that. seen it. I just seen it. I think it's new. So okay. you're going to have to check that out. Yeah, for sure. Go get you some practice before you hit the yeah. big stage. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to go check those out. Probably not this week, but in a few weeks coming. So, you, um, we were supposed to do this last week. Yeah. But you had to do a shoot with. Yeah, I had to finish my visual, uh, my first one. How was that? Was, with Cade? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'm ready for that. That's my first <laughs> visual. What was that like? Just tell us the whole. Uh, it's it's cool. It's like my first time in the camera. I mean, that's why I'm kind of like trying to get used to it. But it's hard to be in front of the camera for me. So like, it's hard being working. in front of the camera every time we do this. So I don't think I don't ever get used to it. So it's like, so yeah, you know, I'm just yeah. trying to work on my music video presence, like the way I am. yeah, all of that's all all the whole thing, like performing videos. It's all a skill. Like it's crazy. It is. It's definitely a skill. Yeah. So that um, 
It was like a what kind of car was that that you were? Sixty eight Impala. Fuck, that thing was badass. Clean man, K came through for me for sure. How the hell did he get that? If uh, you can say, I don't know how he got it. Honestly, <laughs> he was just he sent me a couple of cars and I was like, yeah, that one for sure. T, that guy's on his game. Yeah, I, that car was amazing. Like a hundred thousand dollar car. <laughs> What, are you scared being around it? Yeah, I, I didn't want to, like, the f- whole video shoot, I didn't get in it. Because I, like, I thought they were going to tell me something if I opened the door or something. I, I didn't want to fuck with it. But, like, <laughs> and he was like, you know, you could get in it, right? I was like, oh, okay. But, yeah, so I got to end up doing some, like, uh, views from inside the car, which was cool. That, I, want, I want that car. I want a car like it had, that. had, like, 25,000 miles. Original. How? <laughs> but, I no idea. Dude, that was a badass car, huh? I, I gotta say so I just seen a I think I just seen like a one shot of it yeah it's pretty nice <sighs> so I'm yeah. excited for that visual where were y'all shooting at uh downtown yeah. just a couple <laughs> blocks away from the spot so that uh, that's that 11 11 mm-hmm. what is that like, I've seen um, I've seen Cade a lot talk about that yeah um it's basically like a bar uh just like food <laughs> which uh they have like a stage it's gonna be a cool little spot and where is it at uh, 1111 Main Street. Oh. It's the actual address. Damn. There you go. <laughs> and you're, you said you were part of a production team? Oh, yeah. What was that? Uh, which is Synergy Studios. So, so what I it, work what? with, um, do you know the producer, Fresh Rink, Jonathan Rink? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, so I, I just barely became a part of a production team with him. Nice. Yeah, so that's pretty exciting. That's my engineer, so... We develop a relationship. I hit him up. The fuck, that dude didn't hit me back up. And he wanted to get on. I was like, well, let's do it. And he never fucking responded. Uh, I had to talk to him. I'm going to have to talk to him for you. Please do. Because he didn't. I mean, he came. He went out of his way to hit me up. And I hit him back up. And he didn't respond to him. Hey, well, we'll do it sometime. Yeah. I mean, he's a busy guy, too. He yeah. A well, lot of, it's busy. hard. It's hard. It's hard to get like. Like, I don't want to take it personal. Because, again, like I know a lot mm-hmm. of people are fucking busy. Yeah, we all trying to get it. <laughs> it's like, sure. uh, yeah. You, you, and, I, and I also, like, take that into consideration. Like, I don't want to cut into somebody's time of, like, trying to get it. Like, yeah. But I do my shit on the end of the week. And that's when a lot of people do their shit. You yeah, know, like, sure. go do shows or link up with other people. Yeah. Oh, we'll see, man. Fuck. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I, what What was it like... Why did you stop going to South Plains? Like, um, you just well, why did you go and then why did you stop? When I went, I mean, I had a good year, and then I just wanted to just take a break. Kind of just, I was working on that mixtape thing like that, and plus the I didn't have a car at the time, okay. so that uh, all the audio classes are in level one. Yeah, so that drive every day it was just. Were you here with Sydney? Yeah, I was. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I was I was over there sitting on that one. Yeah, she used to talk about going out there and doing that shit. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah. So it was just it was hard getting without a car to level land and back all the time. So uh, do you feel like you could have part of you was like, I can do this without school? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then like when I wanted to go back, it was all virtual. I didn't, oh, okay. I didn't want to do all that. That's all. That's yeah. that's and a- then now it's just like I'm doing all this, like I'm getting all this attention, so I'm just putting full time into it. That's cool, man. Yeah, but it's crazy how things work. I didn't think I was going to, how do you say it, leave SPC. Really? Yeah. I thought I was, but I mean, I might go back. It's pretty, especially in your field, it's like a pretty, because I've heard a lot of good things about that school. So I mean, Yeah, it's, pretty, it's, a, it's a good program for sure. I mean, no, no doubt about that. So it's probably pretty good. Just something to know. I would fucking go do it, to be honest. Why not? Yeah. But, you know, you put those things in the... I feel that you put those things in the back burner It's for all this. Yeah. Because I would have, like... I would have, like... I've said it before with Brendan Cole. I was like, I would have fucking joined the military mm-hmm. here recently, but I got to do this. I don't... I can't join the military anymore. <laughs> you know, this shit comes first. Yeah. How do you... How do you stay... How do you stay focused? Like, how do you... How do I stay focused? Keep yourself from being distracted from other things. Because I'll tell you what. Let me let me just tell you this. Like When I'm doing this, I feel like it's the devil almost. Like I get distracted with like people want to go to the bar. People want to hang out. Yeah. 
people want to blah 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 like which is cool shit like you know and it's no no shade on those people yeah it's like i knew what i i've i've harped on it so much i'm like i've said it like i i'm i'm all about this yeah Sure. I can't go to your birthday party. I can't go to the bar with you. Yeah, so and I feel like it is a distraction. I feel like it's like the universe testing me, the devil, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. they let's see how serious you want it. And it does suck. It and does. it's like, and not only that, though, again, like I'm being honest, like sometimes I just fail. I'm like, I'll go to the bar. I'll, I'll put this off till the next day. And, yeah. and, I, and I fuck up and I, and I feel bad about it, which is my fault, you know, whatever. And then like. And then another problem I have is like girls. Like, oh, I want to hang out with girls. Oh, I want to go do that. <laughs> yeah. But I can't because I got to do this. Like, do you ever um, do you ever feel like things distract you? Something? Not really. No? You're not, just so not fo- anymore. You're so focused? Yeah. I feel like at the beginning I was getting a little bit distracted. But now it's just my mindset is only music. So it's hard to get a hold of me. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't Maybe I'm not that committed As I thought I was Fuck Yeah I don't I mean I'm always cooking up All the time Can you do that Like um, Away from home So like a mobile Or just you gotta... that, That's why that machine Is so expensive Because it's real portable It has uh, like portable built in pad- Like a built in battery Things like that So Yeah I could Go out in the forest And cook up <laughs> If I wanted to So that's pretty cool Damn I didn't even think about but I stand- wish that thing Had a battery I really do. That'd be cool. Because then you, I could do that. I go record in the forest, like you said. But yeah, I have like a real strict, not strict schedule, but it's just a schedule I go by all the time. Stay in focus. Try to make at least <laughs> three to five minutes a day. Is that like like your goal? Like you put a goal for the day? Is that what you do? Yeah. Like every day is always different. Like I'll either write or I'll either study I'll take time to study other music. Think what, do, what do you mean? How does that work Just for you? going to find different music. Anything I can. I listen to classical. I listen to... What's been the most surprising genre to you that you enjoyed? Um, For me, like you just said, classical. I really enjoy that. I like classical. When my, one of my friends told me she puts it on to um, study. Mm-hmm. This was back in college and I was like, fuck that. <laughs> and then I just went and listened to it. I'm like... Wow, I really actually enjoy this. <laughs> um, I like like Brazilian type music. Like, I don't even, I wouldn't even know how to explain it. But like, is it got like a Latin feel or what? Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. Like the drums. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's real, real groovy. Okay. Um, I don't know what else. I listen to whatever. Does do people like send you shit to listen to? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, you should sample this. Or, yeah, I get those messages all the time. Who who was it? I think it was Pop Smoke. I saw he sampled. I said it before on your um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Have you ever seen that movie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, whenever um, Davy Jones is playing the, the his little keyboard thing. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-uh. I haven't seen he's, that. He's, haven't in seen his, that he's in his little ship, and he's playing it, and Pop Smoke fucking sampled it. I'm going to have to find that. I haven't Go seen check it out, yet. dog. I was like, Wow. That's like it's crazy. It's, like it's crazy what you could sample. You could sample anything. It's crazy it's when you like, yeah. It's crazy when like people find things that they sample and I'm like what the hell? Yeah, that's why I like crate digging, like going for records because you could find anything. How um, and you write lyrics? Yes, sir. What is like? What do you like to write about? And you you said you earlier you said you did poetry. You did a poem. Do you still do that? Um, not as much. I used to do it a lot, but now I just, what I write, um, I write about anything. Like, which is sort of, sort of like the music? Yeah, like, the J-Band aspect, aspect of it, it's just like, that's like cold type writing, you know, like real, how do you say it? Like real, like storytelling. I like to storytell, but. There's times where you know, I'm like prolific P and I got to flow on you like Biggie. It's just there always it's always different. And the, like doing it different all the time, is that on purpose to keep it fresh or do mm-hmm. you like? That and just, it was, it's, it's just, just the way idea. it is. Yeah, it's just an idea that comes across. Need the water, anybody, anybody good? No, I'm okay. Good. You good over there, young Jules? I'm great, man. Seeing I'm you over great. there staring off in this space. Yeah. 
<laughs> How you feeling? Feeling great. You know, great day to be alive. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. It's always a great day to be alive. Yes, sir. Exactly. Blessed. Blessed to wake up. Every day, man. Every day. Man. I was gonna. What the fuck was I about to ask you? Something about songwriting. Oh, storytelling. When you when you do like storytelling type shit, mm-hmm. is it is it the truth, or is it just? That's the truth. I was listening to this. Um, because when I like, I like to write storytelling in a way, but sometimes I like to like make up shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah, most of it's true. Just to see how fantasize, like a fantasy I can create. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You like know a, what I mean? I like to do like different perspectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Is that what you, but you're just Pretty like, much, yeah. for sure, man. That's, I like, uh, I like storytelling. That's my favorite thing. I think that's why I like comedians who's like Joey Diaz. Mm-hmm. He's a very good storyteller. Like I just, I could listen to like a good storyteller all fucking day. Me too. Just fucking talk. Even if he's lying, I was like, <laughs> holy shit. I love that. Yeah, for sure. Who do you who do you think is like one of the best like writers in like music? Mm, calls one of them Kendrick. J Cole. There's a, there's this, there's this guy on Twitter who's like, it's Friday and trying to listen to no J Cole. So I retweet that every Friday. Cole, I gotta <laughs> listen to Cole every day. Vario almost fucking shit himself when I said that. He almost started crying. I was like, fuck J. Cole. You don't, you don't fuck with J. Cole? At this point, no. Why not? Because <laughs> I've been like r- literally retweeting that so long. I'm like, <laughs> it's been like kind of like, you know, <clears throat> things like just subconsciously wear on you, I guess. I'm just like, wait, it is fuck J. Cole because I've said it so many fucking times. I don't even, I don't have nothing against him. I don't, I just never listened to him. You know, I never, I never could like, Sleep. I never could put <laughs> his music on. I don't know why. But everyone got stone taste for sure. Yeah. You know, you said Kendrick. Kendrick. That's kinda like guys you like. You guys are like the same, huh? Jay Z. Yeah. Jay Z, yeah. Sure. Um Cuddy. I fucks with Cuddy. Cuddy. Kid Cuddy. Okay. Yeah. You like him? I like Cuddy. Um, who else? You gotta think about stuff that right like actually right there's shit though. Um Sahi the Prince, do you know who that is? He writes a lot of stuff for Kanye. He writes a lot of stuff for a lot of rappers. Would you ever do that? Like write for other oh, people? Yeah, for sure. Ghostwriter. I could be one. Um, I could never understand. I just couldn't grasp my head around writing for somebody else on purpose. Like I could understand you writing. I don't want this and you give yeah. it to somebody. But like on purpose? That's weird. I was Now that you think it like I was just thinking like. It would be kind of hard to like actually write someone's perspective like to the T. But then like, I guess this is just my ego. I'll just be like to write something and then, like hear somebody kill it. Yeah. Like that's my shit, man. Any years? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I don't know. That's just how I'm thinking. Like, there's something. There's something to be said about just putting a pen to paper. Yeah. I don't know. I like it. Yeah. And I don't. I mean, a lot of people write. I do write on my phone, like through the notes. But it's better to actually write. Oh, I can't write on those. That's fucking. I don't. I don't, I don't understand that. Like again, you teach their own. But yeah, putting pen to paper. Is yeah, like but more. when I ain't got no pen and paper, that does come close. Really? So. I can. It's like it just seems like a text message. I couldn't fucking do it. I just put it in for the reference for later. It's usually how I do it. So you're able to like put something off and then come back to it. Mm-hmm. I guess everybody's different, man. I I try to do that. I just can't. I, I once once saying. it's out, it's out. I'm done. All right. If I don't use it, I'll put it with something else and like make it fit. Really? Yeah. Like, like I have like a three bar, four bar that I wrote, and then I have this little paragraph, and I just somehow mesh them together. That's wild because I'm just thinking like I couldn't do that because I would always be thinking about one thing. Like if I had like. Something like if I said I'm gonna put this off or something else, that would always be in my mind. I couldn't fucking get rid of it. Okay, you know what I mean. Like, but most of the time, I mean, it's just something that comes up quick, so it usually don't be pretty like on one thing exactly. Uh, it's interesting. I love just hearing people's perspective on like creating music. Yeah, it's interesting. It's all different. It's fucking interesting. Like you guys all have your own style. You always have. You guys all have. Your own influence, 
a way of like how we create. It's all yeah, different. like I'm always interested in how, like the process of it. And I guess that might be boring to some people, but fuck them. You know, whatever. <laughs> like the process of writing? Just legitimately like, okay, here's a thought in my head. I'm going to put it on paper or I'm going to put it on a beat. Like, I don't know. I love that. Like you're saying, like putting it on, like listening to vinyl. Mm hmm getting it to your computer and then creating like that's yeah. that's very fascinating to me yeah it it's a work of art for sure sampling is work of art it really is and then like a lot of people don't like it because they think it's like you know you're just taking someone else's work but i mean you're flipping it up well you are but whatever you're flipping it to something you're making yours crazy different i don't think it's any different than what like i just keep thinking about like taking a riff from a guitar and then yeah. making it yours yeah it's the same thing so that I mean, I was just about to say I think that's why I'm so fucking fascinated with like a beat machine or like a machine like something like mm -hmm. a pad because it's like playing guitar. It's like it's from your yeah. hands to a machine to like sound. That's fucking and so not, fascinating to yeah, me. Yeah, I'm not really good with like uh, computer programs producing wise. So when I got that, like I don't know, I'm more hands on, I guess. So I started making beats a lot more better than what I was doing like on a computer. I guess just. Using my hand is a bit better. This is something about it. Yeah. Love it. It's cool. I like it a lot. Young Jules, what are we at, man? I got a fucking piss. Yeah, 39. Yeah, I'm going to go pee. You, again, you know what to do, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> my bad. I got to go pee. Nah, you good. You guys keep talking. Oh, what's that? What's that machine called? That drum? It's a Kai nice. MPC. Uh, nice. MPC just stands for Music Production Center. Nice. Yeah, so that's a cool machine. I, I should have brought it or something. Man. Yeah, you yeah. should have showed us. It's, uh, it's interesting, really interesting. Yeah, uh, a lot of a lot of producers from like the two thousands, like the main production was always from that machine. Mm -hmm. So like watching like I have a like a bunch of videos of Kanye using it, and I was just like, man, I need one. Yeah. Always throughout my high school years is when I first seen that machine. I was like, yeah. So you yeah. gotta have it. Yeah, so for you, sure. That's what's up, man. So that's you cool. you sample from. Vinyls, That's yeah, most of the time. But I mean, like I said, I was I use that website Tracklib, mm. and I just get a bunch of those. And like you could clear the sample and all that, so you don't gotta go through any mm. illegal things. That's what's up. That's nice. Yeah, man, it's fun. I love doing. I love making music. Hell yeah! At the end of the day. <clears throat> Hell yeah, man. So you say you like Cole? Like. Do I really to? don't mess with them, but I've heard I've heard like I've heard his music, but I really don't mess with them heavy. Yeah, so, so I mess with Kid Cudi heavy. Kid Cudi, Kid Cudi, Did you Kanye. Like that new Kanye. Album? Yeah, uh, Man on the Moon three. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty I liked good, it yeah. a lot. Kanye, I mess with Kanye. Yeah, Kanye is just my all time favorite. Artist. Yeah, that's crazy, crazy man, but he a genius. Crazy man, exactly. Crazy man out there making millions. Billions. Billions. Out there making it happen. We like Jay Z. Jay Z? Yeah. Who else you listen to? Mostly like Houston rappers. Houston rappers, okay. Like Zero. Zero, okay. Plus a zero. Pimp C. Pimp C. UGK. Yes, Bun B. Big Mo. Big Mo. Exactly. Yeah, I like Big Hawk. We from Texas. You got like Houston music. Yeah, of course. Sure. Got to represent. <laughs> Texas. Texas got to represent. H-Town, hold it down. Hell yeah. For sure. Ooh, it's cold up there. <coughs> yeah, I heard it was going to rain all night. I hope it rains tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to rain all day, actually. I think so. Yeah. It's supposed to start in the morning. Man, I hope I don't go to school tomorrow. I ain't trying to go. Yeah, it's so, man. Yeah, I ain't trying to go to work. <laughs> Especially because like I just washed my truck and I live out in the dirt roads. Damn, it's gonna like, be all damn. muddy. Hell yeah! That so sucks. what's the point of me washing the truck if I'm gonna get it dirty? That's why I didn't wash my car this week because I knew it was gonna rain. Yeah. This whole no headphone thing is gonna fuck with me. And that black line. Let me see. Yeah, I guess. Is it this? If it was on the screen, it would be on your face too, though. It's this one. Right here. <laughs> It just looks so fucking. I don't know. Anyways, um, what were y'all talking about? Sorry. Uh, we're just talking about 
music what music he listens to he said Houston you listen to Houston Houston rappers I listen to it I like it it's like I don't I don't listen to anything but it's okay. like you know I've, I've a very specific thing I listen to on my on the daily like but I'll listen to anything. Like I, I'm always open for suggestions, and there's always different types of shit that catches my mind, and and I'll be like, I'll be on it for like a couple of weeks. I'm like, oh shit, that was good. Let me listen to that more. Mm-hmm. But not any like, I don't like particularly play Houston music every fucking yeah, no, day. For sure. But what's your favorite genre then? I guess rock. If rock. anything, like metal. Okay. That's like what I listen to because that's what I like to play on guitar. So, I'm so always, you play guitar? Yeah, I'm always listening to that to catch like high like riffs and like like sort of like what you do at vinyl. Mm-hmm. I'm always like and just like how it sounds and and getting ideas. But I'll listen. Right now, I've been listening to a lot of Baby Keem. Hooligan, is that Hooligan? Hooligan. Yeah. yeah. Well, that Baby Keem. <laughs> Baby Keem. Yeah. I haven't heard. That. I've been listening to a lot of him because of that song. But yeah, he's he's fucking crazy. I like him. He's a rapper. <laughs> yeah. So. And then I've been listening to a lot of Deftones. Deftones. Two different completely things, but <laughs> that's what I've been listening to. Right now, I've been on MF Doom a lot lately. R.I.P. Yeah. I slept on him for so long, man. But I'll be honest with you, I never really listened to him. It's not It's not for everyone. I, like, I feel like a lot of people don't like it because it's like raw, uncut hip-hop, but I like it a lot. Especially his production. His production is crazy. Whenever you say that, I've never really asked this. To any, like, what what makes like something produced good? Like, what's a good production? Mm, it could be anything. It could be the way they program their drums. It could be the way they chop up a sample. Just anything, really. Is that like important to you? Though? Like when you listen to music, the production. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, I guess it's for anybody. Yeah, it's uh. I just never really understood like the whole production side of music. Like I don't know what that entails. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I guess it, it could make or break you. Yeah. If it ain't a good beat, I mean, who's really gonna listen to it? The beat gotta be rocking. Is it is it easier for a bad rapper to get on a good beat than it is for a good for rapper sure. to get on a bad beat? Yeah, for sure. Is it? Yeah. Anybody out there who who makes bad raps but are on good beats that you could think of? Famous people. G Herbo. Ooh. <laughs> and I like G Herbo a lot, but I mean, there's some beats, you know, he could have did a lot better on. But yeah, he's the one that definitely comes to mind. Um, who else? Can't think of anyone else. <laughs> Sorry for you, brother, if you're ever <laughs> listening to this. I've never listened to you, so I don't know. I've heard of him, but I never listened to him. It's just he could be offbeat sometimes. And it kind of just ruins the beat that he's rapping on. <laughs> have you ever like have you ever like made music and gave it to somebody and they were like that? They kind of ruined your song? You ever feel like that? Mm, not yet. I haven't no. Nah. No. I was wondering. But I try to avoid that as much as I can. Like How do you do that? Like if I feel like if you get like if people working with me, you gotta come with the same energy. So if you on my beat and you bullshit, I'm not putting it out. I'm not gonna give it to you just cause you gotta take it the same way I'm taking it seriously. I respect you know that's how it is. Yeah, I think that's how everybody should treat it. You know, come with your best shit. Quit wasting people's time. Yeah, I wanted to circle back to the 806 vest. Um, you know, you can, you, well, I, I would hope you're honest. Like, be honest. Like, how important is it that you represent 806? Oh, is very, it, very is it one of your, yeah, for sure. Just cause, I mean, we ain't had something like this in Lubbock, I would think. Like, the show, I guess. Yeah. I've never been to a hip hop, like, all genre festival here in Lubbock. <laughs> yeah, so it's exciting. And, you know, my dad would, he, I wouldn't say he has a big name in a little bit, but a lot of people know him. What's your dad's music. name? So his uh, rap name was Cena. So, I mean, he, he does have a lot of people that used to mess with his music. So, 
them seeing me now, it's like real, like it makes me proud just because, like, you know, I'm doing what he's doing. But okay, yeah. So it's it's nice to put like to be able to put 806, like be a part of it. I guess. Fuck, that's pretty cool, man. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for everybody for the fucking city, man. It's like like you said. I don't. I don't. I don't like to get into that whole BS of whether or not this has been done before or whatever, like, because it seems to cause a little bit of drama. But fuck them. But this is happening and this is going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be nuts. And it is. I'm doing my best to keep always talk about it and always like bring it up. And yeah. For people to want to go out there because it's like, I guess, again, I guess the lineup is coming out very soon. If not, by the time this drops. Um, Obviously, tickets are still available, and, you know, a lot of people, like, a lot of people say they want to support local business and support local and all that, but it's like, this is local, this is, yeah, this is us, like, why don't you go support that then? Yeah. Like, like um, Caleb, he's a, kind of the head of it all. He's like, well, if you don't buy a ticket, at least repost us. Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, simple, that's the least you can do. That's the least you can do, but that, that'll go a long With way. The touch of a button. I, that I, easy. I don't, I don't get that. People don't want to do that. I don't know. How 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 important is that to you? Because like, and what? Like, oh, hold on. Let me. Um, like, I know I don't. People don't owe me anything, but like, it you know, I, it goes a long way to re- repost my shit, and I and I take into account who does it. Mm-hmm. Do you do you feel like that way, or you don't give a um, fuck? At, at first, yeah, like, it was kind of making me mad. Like, people I grew up with, like, man, yeah. they ain't like nothing, they ain't yeah, shit like nothing. Like, that's what damn. I feel like, dude. So, you know, it, it kind of fucked with me for a little bit, but now it's just, like, I got people that I don't even know supporting me, you know. I'm going to get the support regardless. Yeah. So, I, I don't, I try to ignore it now. I mean, I do ignore it. It's just, it is what it is. Do you ever take that into account whenever people ask you for like a top on your beats or to like pre- like collab with you? Mm. You're like, well, you didn't fucking. Is mm. that never across your mind? No, no, because not a lot of people hit me up to work, but if they do, you know, I gotta make sure they're serious. Like I was saying, um, but I try to support anyone that supports me. Where do you, um? Where can they find you? Where can they hit you up at? On Instagram, three underscores, J Ben, J B A N. That's pretty. Just DM you. Yeah. Um, I'm supposed to be uploading a few beats to Fresh Ranks website just to see how they do by themselves. And then they do good. I must be able to set up my own website. So that's exciting. Get those samples. What is that? Like setting up, like you just put. Setting up a website for like my beats. And selling them? Mm hmm. What, what, you, what website do you use for that? I'm just doing. It. Uh, I'm gonna go off of uh, the guy that's with my uh, the production team at Synergy. He has a website, so I'm just gonna make like my own page off of his. Oh no, shit! Mine. That's yeah. crazy. That'd be cool. Yeah, so because I have, I do have a lot of people that hit me up for beats, but I haven't sold any because I mean, I'm just getting started with it. But yeah, it's cool seeing people, you know, wanting my beats. I'm ready for that though. They actually hear someone else on mine. That'd be cool, man. That's I couldn't imagine that. That'd be nuts. How do you? Where do you see yourself? Actually, let me say that. Where do you see yourself in? You know, five, ten years. Where do you? Where do you want to be? You know, I used to, I used to want to be you know, Grammy winner, things like that. But is that the ultimate goal? I mean, it, it'll be cool if it comes. Yeah, for like sure. Something you want? Yeah, for sure. But you know, five, ten years, at the end of the day, if I'm, I'm making music and you know I'm living good, then that's all that matters. But yeah, five to ten years. That's, if I'm making music, I'm good. And would you say like your your focus and your drive is gonna keep you doing that? Mm-hmm. Can keep me on because I like I like to ask people that like where where do they think they're gonna be in five ten years? But it's like you can say all you want, but how much are you like working towards that? Yeah, you know if you're not working towards it, then it's all a bunch of bullshit. But like you said, like if you're if you're not distracted, you know 
I don't believe in luck, but a little bit of luck, yeah. you'll be there. I For mean, sure. you know. Yeah, I like I think a Grammy would be fucking crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah, a Grammy would be crazy, crazy, but I mean why not dream big, right? Yeah. Fuck it. I seen your um I seen your rocking the Jordan ones. I was gonna say that earlier. I don't know if I did. What's your what's your favorite? Is that your favorite type of shoe? That's my favorite. That's the only retros I usually buy is the ones. Me too, man. What, yeah. What's your favorite colorway? The red. J Band. That's where I got it from. Band ones, my favorite pair. You have those? I do. Nice. Yeah. I have some breads, but they're twenty thirteen. I got the twenty sixteen pair. Yeah. Um, same. Got the twenty sixteen. <laughs> These are twenty thirteen, I wanna say, or a little bit before that. That was like the first shoe that I ever wanted. And then I, I'm just saying that because it's almost time for me to get a new pair because I've worn the fuck out of them. I I beat mine too. Like uh, my little brother, he's 11. He was like, "Why are your shoes creased and beat up?" And I wanted to kick his little ass. <laughs> I'm like, "Fuck you!" I really his dad. My dad was there. I was like, "I don't want to be like fuck you." <laughs> You're supposed to beat up ones. Like yeah. ones are supposed to beat up. Like, my sister's actually like that. I live with my sister. She's 12, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Why?" You know, she's like, "I'm like." You're supposed to beat up ones. I don't. I don't. I don't wear any other shoes. Like any other ones, twos. I mean, twos, threes, fours. Five. I like them, but I don't wear them. I have a few pairs, but ones. So one I don't know that. I don't know the proper etiquette behind all those. But I know you're supposed to beat the fuck out of ones. Yeah. Like why? Why not? Why not? Their shoes are yeah. made for. Yeah, I mean, to like, wear? some some <coughs> like some other <coughs> some other shoes look good, you know, clean. But not the ones. I not think they the look. Ones. I think they look badass, yeah. dirty. I've thrown up on mine. <laughs> yeah. I've went hiking in mine. I've had this pair for a while, so I've yeah. done a lot of stuff in these. Oh, I, I used to have some of those, but I sold them. Yeah, I love ones. Big mistake. I big mistake mine. because they're hype now. And they're no, I just yeah, it's like they were worn in crazy. perfect, and they fit my feet perfect, and I sold them. I don't want to, yeah. you know. Yeah, I don't buy any of that hype shit. Fuck. Like I, I would never ever 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 red october easy twos other than that i'll never ever spend over like 300 dollars for a pair of joints i wouldn't I just out of respect for myself like yeah. what the fuck i, I couldn't i couldn't i used to be a big sneakerhead but now it's just i got the, all the ones i want so i'm good i used to be heavy into do you have the uh, do you have any you have the royals I do have the Royals. I just got those this my year. One of my favorites. And yeah. I have those too. Those are my favorite because <laughs> it's my favorite color. You have the Shadows? I do have the Shadows. Some bitch. I need those. I have <sighs> Shadows, Breads, these, Royals, UNCs. Um, do you have Shattered Backboards? I want those. I had the 3.0s, but I didn't like the patent leather, so I sold them. But I don't have the other backboards. The original pair, those are the original pairs. Yeah, those huh. are clean. The all orange ones, whatever one those are. Is that which one of those? Mm -hmm. You know, I like those. You like the Travis Scotts? I do. Oh, but I can't get myself to spend that money. Yeah, me either. Those um fragment ones that are coming out, we'll try to get them. I haven't seen them. They're blue. The, the Travis Scott fragment. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I know which ones you're talking about. Yeah. I thought you were talking about like, no, the no, the, the Travis Travis Scott. Fragment, so I'm gonna try to get those. Those are clean. I missed out on those. Uh, the the what are they? The neutral gray ones or something like that? The ones that came out like a couple months ago. The ones, yeah. I'm sure only speaking of ones, yeah. They're like gray. I haven't seen them, those are pretty badass. I haven't bought a pair of like brand new shoes in a minute, yeah. I bought that court purple ones. Brand those, new. Those are clean. Those are clean. So, that was like actually one of my first pair of shoes I ever bought. Brand new. Everything else was second hand, to be honest. But I need. I want some of those uh, off white SBs, the Nike Dunks. I haven't seen those. I don't guess. I like those. I like the off white ones. <laughs> Me too, but that's, that price tag. Yes, sir. It's crazy. Just, I just out of principle. Even if I had the money, I couldn't do it. Just out of principle, dude. Too much. It's just it's stupid. Much, people charge much. like stupid prices, and people are like it's not even that they're charging. It's people that buy it. It's the yeah. hype, man. It's the, it's the hype. hype. And then the stimmy, the hype, like man. the stimmy check, everybody's fucking spending money on that <laughs> shit. True. People don't even like again. People don't even wear them right. You're supposed to beat the fuck out of them, man. 
Yeah. You're supposed to like guys like you are supposed to be on stage with them on, you know, yeah. running around I'm a, and shit. I'm definitely gonna be performing in some ones. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I mean. You know, you're supposed to be stage diving in that shit, man. Not fucking taking pictures and not bending, you know, <laughs> ch- ch- trying to keep the crease. Yeah, my little sister hates me for that because all my ones are all messed up. My yeah. sister tried to hate me for that, but I was like, no, you're not gonna. That's not yeah. you. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> But man, I don't know, man. Life's great. Life I can't great. I, I can't complain, dude. Can't complain. I'm excited to hear about that you're on Lado Six Fest. That's crazy. I didn't expect that. Yeah. So what do you what do you think they like, um <laughs> I imagine you're gonna be feeling great after that. How how are you gonna like keep that momentum up? You're gonna be riding high, all the momentum. What are you gonna what do? do? Cause I'm just like I'm just trying to like get an idea of like people. Cause like that's a great wave to ride going on that. How do you think? Do you think you're just gonna go back to being you, or are you gonna like try to catch that momentum and, and like and, performing? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's the goal. I mean, I do want to perform more. It's just I haven't got myself out in the scene as much. But yeah, that's the goal for sure. I just need to get myself out there. You should go check out those open mics. Yeah, I'm, I've been thinking about that since you said. It. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell Vari to tell you, like encourage you more, and get you out there. I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let you in. It'll be um, <laughs> it's uh the city's like I don't know. i the city's gonna be nuts in the next few months. We're like two months away from that. Everyone's working. It's May, May like summertime. Great it's things. It's gonna be a busy summer for sure. It should be it should. for you if you're out there listening to y'all. MFs, yeah. get on your shit, man. Get on your shit. I can't. I don't know. I have to. I like to try to inspire people. Piss them off. Like, yeah, I should be getting on my shit. You know what I mean? For sure, though. If you want it, you got. If you want it, it's gonna be a busy summer. Though I'm excited, man. Do you think? Um, I imagine you'll be on top. And so you'll be one of those guys on top. Hopefully. Yeah. I think so. There you go. I've been getting a lot of attention from, you know, the top artists. So I think the work, I could do it. I hope so, Doc. That'll be fun. Hopefully me and Brandon Cole get on the song this time. That would be interesting. I want to hear that. Oh, yeah. That's going to be crazy. I, I was, Again, I wasn't expecting <clears throat> that. Me and Bugs. Bugger Brass. They're doing a show on Friday. That sucks. You can't be there. I know. I think I'm going to go. I don't know. You can't like they can't just like put an X on you and let you in. I, I was cold, but he was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, all right. I get it. He can't put his name out there like that. I actually talked to him today. You did? Yeah, I was just seeing how he was doing. I've been meaning to hit him up because I, I've been wanting to talk about his interview that he did with you because I had learned a lot of stuff that you know I didn't even I didn't know he was in the military. That's what I was saying, dude. Yeah, that tripped me out. He, he he gave a lot of insight. Were you with us one day? Yeah, I was fucking, was episode. Yeah, I was fucking crazy. Good guy. We'll get him back on here soon. Yeah, he's an inspiration for all of us. For sure. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. He um, be working. He does, man. He pulling up on people like that. That's the way to do it. Yeah. I mean, that's how I met him. <laughs> really? That was the first yeah. time? That was the first time was when I had bought a shirt from him. Oh, okay. And then he had knew he had knew a little bit about me, and then I had played him some like unreleased music, and he was like, oh, yeah, I like you. I like your style. So hearing like inspirational words from him, you know. God, he's so I'm fucking inspirational. Doing some right. <laughs> you know, I got his attention. That's how, yeah. I, that's how I look at it. Do you, get, do you feel like you get a lot of love from people here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and if it's not, it's just, oh, well. <laughs> Fuck it. You see me? That's crazy, man. I can't, I keep thinking about, like, you, you being at that festival and all that. I didn't, I didn't, I went in this with a clean slate because I was like, I don't want to know. Like, I could have done my research, but I was like, no, you know what? Let's just keep it unknown. Let's see how this plays out. And it's been fun. I've been like, oh, shit, yeah. you're in it. You know, I think, you know, you could probably put yourself out there more, doing more shows. Yeah, I guess that'll come in time. It'll come for It'll sure. come in time. So you'll, you'll, I think you'll benefit from that tremendously. You're already out there. So yeah. selling more shirts, that's important. Like yeah. A lot of people don't think that's important. 
And I'm like, it all goes hand in hand. Again, he like he pulled up on me talking about like you need to go out and deliver and meet people and talk to them one on one. Yeah, I'm a little too lazy for that, but that's important. <laughs> yeah, because then people start talking about you like we're talking about him. So you know, that's cool. Yeah, he tells me a lot about like how I present myself. Like he wants me to be more outgoing because you know he could tell like I don't really be out there, but. That's what I want. I want you to be out there. Yeah. I want you to be out there in them shows. For sure. Whenever I see you out there, well, when I'm out, I get the culture lounge or Jake's. Uh, of course, age restriction, I get that. You can't do nothing about that. But I want to see you out there in them yeah. shows, dog. I want to see you out there it's performing. Just, sure. just fucking tell Vara. He'll put you on He'll put you on a spot. Or uh, the culture lounge, they'll put you on a spot easy. Just go do it. I think For you sure. should. I think you should. Get a little bit more under your belt before you do the 806 fest, because that's going to be crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm ready for it. I get into it. I feel like I get into a different mode when it's performing. I feel like I focus up, be ready for it. Do you, like, do you, like, do you rap over yourself, or do you, like, do the whole, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, how I practice? No, like, whenever you're live performing... Are you? Is your voice playing in the background? Mm-hmm. It is. The last time, yeah, it was. But I mean, the way I've been practicing performing is I do like just the instrumental, so I could. Is that how you're gonna do it? That's how I want to do it. Okay, yeah. So I mean, I, obviously, that's gonna take some practice yeah, too. Yeah, for huh? sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir, man. Hey, anybody need anything to drink? Everybody good? You need water? <laughs> He might. He I'm go, good, He's going to have to go pee. I'm good. Jules, how are you feeling over there again? Great. Great, you know. Just, just vibing. Vibing. Listening. To How's the vibes? Fantastic. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling over there? I'm good, man. I'm enjoying this. This is fun. And I'm having fun. And it's it's actually something new for me because I don't have my fucking headphones. And it's, <laughs> it's actually like, it's different. Good for you. It's good to put yourself... In uncomfortable, you yourself, yeah, in those uncomfortable situations. It's a little weird. That fucking line's gonna <laughs> just throw me off. This whole it's been throwing me off this whole time. But whatever, dog. Whatever. You just gotta go with it. So you're you're 20 years old. 20. From Lubbock, Texas, and you make music, and your 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 name is Blink Blink. I'm not gonna say it. I don't want to expose your government name. What do you? What, Whenever you think about as a as a young person, mm-hmm. to you, what is the meaning of life? Meaning of life to enjoy the little things. No, you gotta take the good with the bad. How do you enjoy the little things? Waking up, today, you know, you gotta enjoy that. You know, anything, just. I, I think that I think this episode, this one right here in particular, really taught me how to enjoy the little things, because I, because I'm like, you know, I, I said it around, I'm like, fuck, I'm thrown off with this, the audio not working, the headphones not working, I was late, my fault, that's a fuck up, and um, but I'm like, you know what, you're here, Jules is here, let's enjoy this moment. Yes, sir. I've been thinking about that, like, this is a nerd alert, by the way, what I'm about to say, so. Uh, you know, I was thinking about like, if are you a fan of anime? You I know, am, Attack on Attack on Titan. I do, but I don't watch it. Well, I don't know what you're so about. it ended okay. last week, two weeks ago. What's today? It came out the ninth, the final chapter ever. Mm-hmm. And I read. It, it took me a while to read it because I was like, I've been invested in this for like three years, but it's been around for like ten years, mm-hmm. and I was like. You know, I tried to read it, and I was like, I just couldn't. I just couldn't read it, and uh, I read it, and I took it for what it's worth, and I read it, and I really enjoyed it, actually. And But then, like, a lot of people didn't. A lot of people didn't enjoy this chapter, mm-hmm. and they hated it. Fuck them if they did, whatever. And everybody's got their, you know, people are going to hate all the time. For sure. You can't please everybody. But the, I read a comment, was like, hey, guys, you should enjoy this moment because this is the last first ever this is the last first ever. Like, this is the last time I'll ever read a, for the first time a chapter ever. And I was like, "Fuck!" I, I took it for granted, and I was like, 
I took like and it really took away like the whole meaning. Yeah. And 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 the, the pure enjoyment I could have got out of a tab. I did actually, actually I got it, but it took like I started digesting it and I started reading comments and people mm. were hating on it. And I was like, man, I really shouldn't have just because I I, sh- I just thinking about I was applying that to this like I should just take this for what it's worth, like enjoying the small things. We're here, at least we got to record. The cameras are working. We got to meet each other. We got to meet each other. We're, we're having a great conversation. I'm drinking beer, doing what I love, and I'm Same. like, fuck, I should, because I, I like to harp on like the the end of things a lot. I like to think about things ending for some reason I always think about things ending and I'm like this is gonna end one day you know you better enjoy these moments yeah and I'm glad I'm like realizing this now I'm just like shit I should enjoy these small things like you're saying I should enjoy these setting up even though I hate it I fucking hate setting up (laughs) I should enjoy it I should enjoy meeting somebody for the first time I'm never gonna get to meet you for the first time again Yeah. so it's like (laughs) I should enjoy that. I should enjoy editing these videos, and it's all a process. It, and it's like, but I think I think that's a like a learned skill too in itself, like learning to enjoy something. Oh, for sure. And I'm like, I don't know why I've been talking about where was I going with this, but yeah, oh, the small things, like and just enjoying like everything about this. Like I was thinking about, I should have like, it's kind of like sad when I think about it. Like I really should have enjoyed reading Attack on Titan every month. <laughs> More than I actually did. Yeah. I took it all for granted. I guess and 139 so. chapters later, it's over. I'm like, yeah. oh, God, I can't fucking go through that again. <laughs> that kind of sucks. So I was like, I'm just trying to enjoy. Because, like, again, this is going to end one day. I don't know when. I don't want it to. But yeah. one day I'm going to pack this all shit up. All things come to an end. Yeah. And that's, again, I've been harping on that, too, in my mind. I'm like, oh, one day I'm going to pack all this stuff up and that's it. It's over. So I better enjoy these moments tonight yeah it takes that's what it takes those ideas in my head to really enjoy the small things like you better appreciate this shit now so i have been that's what i meant like i've been i've been extra thankful because of like the attack on titan thing i've been like i've been extra thankful i'm like i fucking i fucking love the shit out of this but it fucking it sucks sometimes (laughs) you know that sometimes it sucks yeah so the the small things are are nice and again uh thank you i uh, Thank you, everybody listening, by the way. Thank That's why <laughs> you guys go check them out. Where can they find you at, man? All streaming platforms. Just look up J-Ben, J.B-A-N. All my music's on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Tidal. Tidal. Going on. You got anything else to say for the people out there, man? No, sir. <laughs> well, man, again, thank you. Jules, you got anything? Enjoy the little things. Enjoy the little things. Enjoy I little got things. that little fun fact. I got that from my head coach in high school. Uh, he passed away in November. So Coach Matt? Coach Matt Embry. Yes, sir. Yep. That's where I got that from. Enjoy the little things. There you always go. Told me. There you go. Rest in peace, Coach Embry. We'll see you guys next time, I think. Not I think. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Thank you for listening, guys. This is episode 116 with J-Ben. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share, hit the notification bell, all of that. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.